Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Shivan and I'm a third year medical student studying at King's College London. And in today's video, I'm going to talk you through what a doctor's salary is in the UK. This is a big question for all those looking to go into medicine in the UK. And naturally, it would be because uh, for anybody going into any career, they're wondering about what their compensation is going to be like because you're going to put a lot of effort and money into your degree and you definitely want it to pay off, which is fair. But before we get further into this video, I want you to go check out my YouTube channel because I make videos about medical school and university, vlogs, stay in the life videos, videos about how to get into medical school, videos about life in medical school, all of that. So definitely go check it out. And if you think it's something you might enjoy, if it's something you find interesting, then smash that subscribe button and join me for a lot more videos. Right, getting back into this video. To start off, I want to give you a bit of context as to how a doctor is paid in the UK. And I'm going to do that by telling you where they stand amongst other professions. The general term or the general variety of jobs that can be classified under the word doctor or medical doctor came ninth in the list of professions that are paid the most in the UK. And this was after chief executives, lawyers, marketing and sales directors, pilots, and a few more different jobs. So ninth, that's where doctors stand. But then again, doctor, that's a really general word. What, what can you classify under a doctor? Many different things, many different people, and different specialties, different levels of training. So, you can't just leave it at that. So now let's go into a bit more depth about what a doctor is paid. To get into that, you'll have to be a little familiar with the training pathway of a doctor in the UK. And if you're not, I will throw up a video that you can check out or you can just keep going with this video and I'll explain it to you along the way, whatever you prefer. So essentially, doctors are trained under the NHS in the UK or the National Health Service. And because of that, most of the healthcare industry in the UK is public and not privatized. And that makes this video a bit easier because there's a very standard pathway and there's also a very standard way of paying doctors. So just for reference, all the figures being provided are salaries per year and before tax. So now to start off with, every individual who graduates out of medical school and is looking to become a doctor starts off with their foundation years or goes into the foundation program so now this is two years so your first in your first foundation year or fy1 you're paid thirty thousand pounds so i'm gonna round up to the nearest thousand uh, to make things easier so you're paid thirty thousand pounds in your first year now in your second foundation year you are paid thirty four thousand pounds so there's a bit of an increase. After your foundation years, you can either go into core training or specialty training. Either way, you're paid the same thing in the next three years. So in your first year of core training or specialty training, you're paid 40,000. In your second year, no matter what it is, you're still paid 40,000. In your third year, there's an increase. Now you're paid 51,000. So that's quite a steep increase. So in core training, year three or specialty training year three, you're paid 51,000. Now, after you finish your three years of core training or if you're in specialty training, you continue with more years of specialty training. So that'll be SD4, which is specialty training four, or uh, SD5, SD6, SD7, SD8, you know. So uh, in year four and five, they continue to pay you £51,000 a year. In years 6, 7 and 8, you're paid £58,000. And basically, once you're done with these 8 years of specialty training, you would be able to qualify as a consultant. And now as a consultant, your starting salary is £84,000 a year. Now, that's quite a big increase because you've uh, really increased your level of seniority. Now, although a consultant's salary starts at £84,000, it gradually increases year by year and it reaches a maximum of £114,000 in the NHS. Now, that's if you're a hospital doctor, a specialty training doctor, whatever, not if you're a general practitioner. So if you're a GP, things work a little differently. Foundation years, the same, 30,000, 34,000. In the GP training pathway, you go straight into three years of GP specialty training. And in those three years, 
respectively the pay is 40,000 in the first year, 51,000 in the second year and 51,000 in the third year as well. And after that you qualify as GP and the minimum pay for a GP in England is 62,000 pounds. The range given for GPs in England is 62,000 to 96,000 but uh, that's very restricting and uh, it's not fully accurate I'd say. Just to remind you, all of these figures are for the NHS in England and not in Northern Ireland, not in Scotland and not in Wales. All of them have different figures, slightly different figures, not very different, but uh, I'm going to put up the charts so you'll be able to see the differences. Now, all of this information, take it with a grain of salt because salaries change. There may be slight inaccuracies, but basically all of this information has been uh, extracted from the BMJ's website, which is like a guide to doctors pay in the UK. Right now, I'm gonna throw up three different charts from that website. You can pause at each one, take a screenshot, or uh, take a picture, you can visit the link, I'll put it down in the description below. So the first one is going to be what a specialty training doctor is paid throughout their years of training up until they're a consultant. The second thing is going to be um, how much a consultant is paid with their years of experience. And the third thing is going to be how much a GP is paid in uh, each different region of the UK. Now that we have all the numbers out there, let's get a bit more context about how much these salaries actually will be. Will they be enough? Are they a lot? Are they not a lot? So to understand that, we need to figure out a few things first. So the first thing is, what is the average salary of a full-time working individual in the UK? And that number is £38,131. The next question is, what's the cost of living in the UK? For a single person, that's around twenty-six thousand pounds. Varies slightly depending on the source, but around twenty-six thousand everywhere. And then the next figure is the average cost of living in London, which is the most popular city to live in in the UK. It's the most populated city in the UK. The cost of living here is thirty-six thousand pounds a year, so quite a steep increase. To give you a bit more context as to how how that is, how those figures are, as a doctor's pay. Let me tell you a little bit more about doctor's pay in other countries. We're going to compare it to the US, Australia and Canada. So three other big English speaking countries. So in the US, it's it's quite a bit. So there's no one accurate figure because uh, it varies a lot by specialty, but the average physician is paid around £208,000 a year. And I'd say the range for salaries that I saw depending again on the source you look at, were from $150,000 a year to $500,000 a year, which is a crazy amount of money. In Australia, the average was $160,000, again dollars. Now that's not as much as the US, but it's still quite a bit. In Canada, the average salary was around $215,000. You're paid quite a bit in all of these countries and comparatively you're paid a bit lower in the UK and that's probably something to do with the fact that the job here is public and not private. But to give you a little more context, let's see how the salary of a doctor changes with their years of training in a more pictographic way. So I'm going to put up a graph right here of how a specialty training doctor's pay changes with their years of experience. And over here I'm going to put up how much a GP's salary changes over the years as they, you know, continue with their training. I hope that gives you a better idea of how the pay changes across the years and how it's going to increase, how rapidly it's going to increase. You can interpret those graphs however you want to interpret them. And lastly, don't let these figures sort of restrict you or restrict your mindset because this is just the base pay you get from the NHS in your job. It's not necessary that this is your only source of income. You can take on uh, jobs as an ac academic, you can become a lecturer in a medical school, or you can take on a, a job as a senior lecturer. You can go into research, 
you can take on additional responsibilities and all of these different things will supplement your income and uh, it'll help it grow. A major thing that I obviously haven't mentioned up until now is that you can even go into private healthcare in the UK because even though that's not the main thing over here, it's still pretty prevalent. You can definitely work in only private healthcare, you can work in private and in the NHS or you can choose to just work in the NHS. That is up to you. Basically what I'm trying to say is there's scope to do more than just, you know, work in the NHS and on the NHS salaries. Now I can't give you accurate information as to how much you earn if you go private here because there's not a, a lot out there on it. But it's definitely going to be something that sort of, you know, adds to your salary or the something that'll improve your salary. But all in all, I hope this video was helpful. I hope it gave you good perspective on a doctor's pay in the UK. I hope it helped you understand what the compensation will be like for your years of hard work in medical school. And I hope it really helped you make the decision of whether or not you want to go into medical school or whether or not you want to come to the UK to work as a doctor. If it was helpful, useful, entertaining, informative, then uh, all I'm gonna ask you is to drop a like down below and to definitely smash that subscribe button to join me for a lot more videos like this one. Also, leave any comments you want down below if you have any questions or you wanna tell me anything and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And lastly, just share the video with uh, other people who might find it useful, who might find it interesting. With that, I'm gonna let you go and I will see you in the next one.